Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name's Julie and if you're new here, I am losing weight following Slimming World. Um, this is my food shopping haul for this week. This week I decided I would go to Tesco's, mainly because I was going on my own and I decided I wanted to do the scanning shop to make it a bit quicker. Um, I think the shopping, it's for five people plus a doggy and it came to, I think it was about 150, 155 pounds, so not the cheapest. Aldi still, I think, is the cheapest out of all of them. Um, but I'll show you what I've bought. I've tried to put these into kind of sections, but I'll just go wherever. <laughs> I've got some candy floss grapes. They were two pound in there though, so definitely dearer than they are in Aldi. I've got some fine green beans, some peppers, some apples. These are the Rose Dean Farms ones, which are the discount range. I've got some easy peelers, a melon and some mushrooms. So these are all speed. I've got some spring onions, some vine ripened tomatoes. I couldn't see any of the solid tomatoes in there to put on sandwiches, so that's the biggest tomatoes I could get. I've got some cherry tomatoes. I have actually bought salad this week, so I bought some romaine salad and a cucumber. I bought a normal broccoli and I bought purple sprouting broccoli. That'll probably be for dinner today. I bought some ripened at home plums. I bought some cauliflower because I'm thinking of making a, a roasted cauliflower soup. I've got some savoy cabbage and some carrots and I've bought a pack of pak choy for going into a recipe. I've got some king edward potatoes and some red potatoes and some normal onions and some red onions. They are all, oh actually there's a button that's squash there hiding as well. They're all mostly speed I think. I'm not sure if any of them are just free off the top of my head. I think they're all speed apart from obviously the potatoes. Potatoes won't be. Um, so yeah that's all the fruit and veg I bought. So next moving on to this side of the table, I've got two large cartons of skimmed milk. This is the filtered one as it lasts longer. Two boxes of free range eggs. These are large eggs and there's the 12 there. And I did make sure the free range this week because I was devastated last week when I found out that the ones I bought in, where did I go last week? Iceland, they weren't free range. They were supposed to be looked after chickens but I like the free range ones. Um, I bought the stand and stuffed tortilla bowls. These are three and a half cents each. These aren't the mini ones, these are the full size ones. I've got some 5% steak mince beef. Hopefully I'm gonna make some sort of chili in order to go in the stand and stuffed. Stand and stuff, I keep saying stuffed. <laughs> I bought some chicken breasts. These are definitely dearer than Aldi. I think they come out at five pounds something kilo. So I think Aldi's price is normally 4.80 to 4.90. So I bought one pack of chicken in there. I think I have got some still in the freezer, so that should be enough. I've bought a large pork joint, pork loin joint. Um, this will be for dinner today, and hopefully there'll be enough for dinner tomorrow or the day after. I bought a pack of six chicken sausage and onion sausages. So these are new, and these scan in at four for one and a half sins per sausage, which they're nice thick sausages, so that's not too bad. It's not as good obviously as the skinny sausages, but. We'll give them a try and see what they like, they sound nice. I've got two containers of diced beef. They didn't have any lean beef, so I'm gonna to have to cut the fat off this to make sure that it's sin free. But that's for going into a soup, uh, for a stew or, I can't get my words out. These are going into a stew or a curry or something like that. I've got two packs of bacon, which obviously I'll cut the fat off to make it sin free. I've bought a pack of clover light and I've also bought some stock because I really want to do some baking, some cupcakes or some cookies or something. I have bought a pack of cooked ham, there's 18 slices there for £4, which I didn't think was too bad. I've got some 0% Greek yoghurt. Um, I like the foyer one but it was really expensive in there today so I've just bought the normal Tesco one. I've got some sour cream dip, obviously for going into the stand and stuff bowls. This is, um, can I read my own writing? One sin per tablespoon, because it's the reduced fat sour cream. I've got some chicken frankfurters, so these are the chicken ones, so you have to make sure you look out for the chicken ones because the others are double the sins, I think. I'm going to say these are area fat. These are two sins per sausage. I have bought some Muller Corners, these are for the kids. I haven't bothered to scan these in, so I won't be having them. I bought some strawberry cheesecakes and some millionaire cheesecakes. I did try to scan them just out of interest to see what they were, but they're not actually in the app. And um, looking at the calories, they would be probably around 10 or 11, something like that, quite high, so I won't be having one of those. I have bought a normal block of red Asta cheese. I bought some 50% mature cheese, 50% less fat. I actually saw this on the Two Simbrys channel, 
I didn't realise that some of them you've got 50 grams and I've looked and this is one of them so 50 grams of that for your Health Extra A which is a bargain. I've got some mozzarella, this one is also Health Extra A, you get 40 grams for your Health Extra A and I was quite excited to find this smashed av avocado as well. I, I, I quite like avocado and Chloe likes it but no one else in the house likes it and so we end up chucking loads of it away if we buy a whole one. This works out at one and a half sims for a tablespoon, so I thought that'd be quite nice as a guacamole inside the stand and stuff as well. So I'm quite excited. I don't know how long it will last once it's been opened, but um, but yeah, it looks like you get quite a bit of avocado in there for for putting onto things. So that's all of the stuff on this table. So that's mostly the, that's all the meat, the chilled and the veg. So I'll move on to the next section. Probably should have done this first because I've got frozen stuff here. But anyway. These are the chicken curry and rice. This is a bit like the ones you get in Aldi. These were 69p. The difference between these and the Aldi ones, the Aldi ones scan in at six sins, these are eight and a half. So you just need to be careful that they look very, very similar as well. So if you pull them out of your freezer, you'd have to be careful that you've got the right one. Um, just find it interesting. I've got quite a few food comparisons over here that to show you that's quite shocking on some of them. But yeah, eight and a half, that's so two and a half sins more for the same thing, basically. I've got some frozen sweet corn, so we get through loads of that. And I've got some frozen mac and cheese, these are part of the 69p range as well. And that scans in at seven and a half sins per portion. I'm just going to quickly put these away because they actually feel like they're defrosting quite quickly. So I'll get, I'll rejoin you in a second. That's better, I've put them away now. So I've got a bit more space as well, so I've spaced these out. I've bought two of the Kvargs, the vanilla flavour. Yes, again, no white chocolate. There's always the container that's held them. But they've always sold out and they've been replaced with the chocolate sprinkle ones, which I don't like. So I've just got the vanilla version of those. I've got eight Muller Lights. These are on eight for £3 today in Tesco's. I've bought two rhubarb and crumble custard flavour, two banana and custard flavour, two toffee flavour, and two of the vanilla with chocolate sprinkles. So that's those. I think they're all half a sin. I haven't checked the rhubarb and crumble one, so I'll have to check that. And um, if it's any different, I'll put it on screen. Um, here's the shampoo and conditioner I've bought. So these were on offer. I can't remember how much they were, but they were two pound something, two thirty I think. So this is the Ultimate Blends um, Delicate Oat. I've got the shampoo and conditioner to match. I've bought this Alberto Balsam one, which is an antioxidant one, and that's because it was cheap. It's going to go in the middle floor bathroom. The kids seem to just, but I don't know what they do with it. I don't know if they drink it or what, but we seem to get through no end. Um, I've got an Arctic Ocean, which is actually a men's shower gel. I don't know why it's specifically for men. <laughs> this was the largest one they had that was reasonably priced, so I picked that one up. I'm sure I can use it. These are Luna's snacks, so she's got the Misfits, which is her favourite. She always loves those, and you can't always get them everywhere. I've got some chewy chicken and rice sticks, and I bought some of these look like jerky protein strips. This is 100% natural duck, and another one that is 100% beef and lamb. So they're all for Luna. Moving on to our snacks, I've bought some chocolate biscuits. These aren't for me. I did have a look how many sins were in there. Did I write it down? I thought I did. You'll probably spot it before I will if I did, because that's not really the case. Oh, there they are. Four sins of biscuit. <laughs> so I don't necessarily think that's worth it. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to stop myself at just one, so I don't think I'd be having any of those. I've got some mini fingers. These are five sins for a packet. So I would rather have those because although it's one sin more, I know I can pick a packet and eat just that packet. I've got some moon, moon and stars biscuits that are just the malted biscuits. They're four and a half sins. I was quite shocked actually. They were four and a half and they were five since they don't have chocolate on. But anyway, I've also bought some Freddos and I think they're five too. Yeah, they are. They're five sins as well. I've bought some onion rings, some cheese balls and some blue balls. I haven't bothered to scan them in because I'm not intended to have any. Um, I've bought a big variety pack of crisps. Again, not for me. And I've bought some beer for Eddie. Again, not for me. They're just like the stubby bottles. I've bought some white bread for everyone. I've still got some um, wholemeal Morrison's bread, so I didn't bother buying any for myself. I've got a couple of cupboard bits, well, cleaning bits. This is just a blind cleaner because I've got a um, horizontal blind now in my downstairs bathroom. And I've got these nail scrubbing brushes. Some are for scrubbing your nails, but some's also for doing the grout behind my hob because it's quite disgusting. I've got some baked beans and tomato sauce. I've also got some chunky vegetable soup. This is five cents for the tin. And I bought a beef and vegetable chunky soup. That's five and a half cents for the tin. I've got some condensed milk. This is for putting into coffees. I'm quite partial to either an iced latte or a hot one even with condensed milk. This is two and a half cents for a tablespoon. I normally only put a teaspoon in mine. So um, 
I normally count anywhere between half a cent and one cent, depending on how I feel that day. But um, but yeah, it's just a nice little treat and it makes it taste delicious. Um, I've got some squash because we've run out. This is the sugar-free one, so that's sin-free. And I've bought some of the tinned beans and sausages. This is seven and a half tins, seven and a half sins for the whole tin. But obviously that includes the little baby sausages, so I didn't think that was too bad really. Probably not for me anyway, but I just picked them up because I saw them. I've bought some of the taco mix beans. I'm not sure, is this this is in a spicy tomato sauce. These are sin-free, just like the oldy ones are. I've got two tins of chopped tomatoes. So this is a bit, I'll, actually I'll just show you this bit first. So this is, I bought some more peanut butter powder. This is like the PB2 powder. And this is two and a half cents for 12 and a half grams. I'm quite partial to peanut butter. So I'm gonna make my own up and have a lower sin version. It's also nice if you put some in hot chocolate and it's also, I was thinking about if I did like a satay type sauce for chicken or something, it'd be quite nice. This is the bit that I was on about where you can be quite, you have to be really, really careful. So I've picked up these mainly for the kids because obviously because they're at home and they're doing uni lectures and they don't get much of a lunch break and also it's half term, I've picked up some noodles. So some of these wicked ones, this one, sweet potato and beans, chilli, mac, looks quite tasty. That's three and a half cents for the pot, which I didn't think is too bad. I don't know how filling it is, but I didn't think that was too bad for, for a lunch. Again, this one, this spicy, spicy, smoky, dreamy mac. That was four sins for the pots, which I didn't think was too bad. But then we move on to this one. So this wicked purple rice, that's only one and a half cents for the pot, which I didn't think was bad at all. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but it looks delicious. It's got beetroot, rice, broccoli, pumpkin seeds, garlic herbs, and white wine. So I could definitely have that, that sounds lovely. But then we get onto the others. So this one isn't scanning in the app at all. So this is a barbecue ramen veg pot, which I don't think should be too bad because obviously the noodles, themselves should be free and the veg should be free so it shouldn't be too bad however with that understanding i picked this one up thinking oh you know it's a it's a ramen noodles ginger and spring onion can't be that bad 15 sins for the pot 15 sins an entire day's sins just for a pot of soup and i can't understand why i mean it's it's noodles so yeah you look at the calories and it would equate to that calorie wise because i think it's 200 and something calories but surely the noodles would be sin free so i don't know if that's an error or whether that is genuinely the cat the sins on that obviously i won't be having that because the whole day sins would be go gone just on that and that doesn't seem like a treat at all i'm absolutely gobsmacked so i don't know if that is an error i'm tempted to send the packaging up to similar to say can you check this because that seems ridiculous but Anyway, I just wanted to show you just so you've got to be on your guard because again, you could pick that up thinking, oh, it's a noodles and it's a soup. That's going to be a healthy option. But actually, you're better off buying a pre-packed sandwich than buying that. Um, and equally, these are all very, very different in sins. Obviously, I don't know what that one is, but I don't even find out now that I know that that one's 15. Um, so yeah. Again, another quick comparison over here. I've picked up this tint of light ambrosia Devon custard. And that comes in at four and a half cents for 100 grams. I think it's probably a 400 gram tin, because they normally are. Yeah, it is. For a quarter of a tin, four and a half cents, which I didn't think was too bad. And I picked up this no added sugar instant custard powder that you make with water, and I thought, well, this is bound to be lower. But actually, this scans in at 14 and a half cents for the sachet. So it's not, it's not big enough a difference for a quarter of that compared to that. But you think you don't have to faff about with that and it's going to be creamier i think than that one so i probably would be tempted to go for the tin i mean you might get slightly more for your quarter in that one but it's always a bit more watery so again i think you have to choose your sins wisely don't you because that's probably coming out at what three sins three fours twelve three and a half sins maybe so it's probably one sin more for the creamy tinned one i'd go for the tinned one i think um tiger telly obviously sin free Sata is sin free, that's just to stock up my cupboard back up because I've used mine. I've got some medium egg noodles, they're free. I've got some lady items, I've bought some mild salsa. I haven't checked this one actually, normally it's around half a sin for a tablespoon, but I must check before I do have any. Again, that's for the um, soft tortilla bowls. I bought some dark soy sauce because I've completely run out. I've got some thyme because I want to put some in my soup. I've got some tomato puree because I've run out, or more or less run out. And then I bought these. So this miso easy soup, this is one sin for a sachet and there's five servings in here. So I don't know if there's five separate sachets or if it's one. I'm not quite sure. 
but the, the cauliflower soup recipe that I've looked at asked for white miso base uh, paste and I did see that in there but then saw this and thought this might be just as nice so I've bought that instead and with it only being one sin, 21 calories a serving I thought it might be uh, a good option again these two are another item for comparison for you so I picked up this Spanish treat so paella because I thought it's something that Tom might like to have when he's after uni or after work and it's five cents for the pouch which I didn't think was too bad probably add some meat to that to make it into a proper sort of like dinner for a growing lad good source of protein and I think it was on offer so then I picked up the one next to it without scanning it this time and this is the mascarpone and tomato risotto exactly the same sort of packaging same size this one is 10 sins for the packet so it's double the sins of the Spanish risotto um, paella so again you have to be very very careful what you pick up you could easily pick up the wrong thing and think you've got a, a really sort of low sin option and you haven't so that is all my shopping for this week. I have got a lot of my money, I can't moan, but I still don't think it's as cheap as Aldi. I think the meat and the veg Aldi are cheaper and I think a lot of the fridge stuff is cheaper as well. There are offers, obviously the club card offers and stuff on, but generally I do think, I don't know, I don't want to be unfair to them. I've got a lot of snacks in and I've bought beer and stuff, so, and lady items are sure is expensive. And I specifically went there because I can't get shampoo and conditioner that I get on with at Aldi. So, you know, it's it's all balancing, isn't it? And because I could do scan and shop, it was so much easier than having to keep unpacking and repacking. So anyway, that's this week's shopping haul done. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found something useful. I certainly did when it came to looking at some of those comparison items because I definitely would make a mistake on some of those. So I thought I'd share it with you. And I shall see you again next week for the next one. Bye. Nearly forgot I also got these. So these are just some bottle bags that were reduced. I can't remember how much they were. I'll have to try and look at the receipt if I get a chance when I upload this video and put it on screen. And there's a bigger bag there for Christmas and another one. These were all in the reduced section and I thought with Christmas coming and birthdays coming, I may as well pick those up just so I've got them in as an easy option. So there's also that and I shall catch you next time. Bye.